Hey, you guys. So we are continuing with our AKS portfolio. We are going to look at 5B today. And let's start off with what 5B says. So 5B says, I can plan and carry out investigations to demonstrate the relationship among temperature, pressure, and volume, and density of gases in closed systems. <clears throat> so the very first thing on your AKS portfolio is you planning out an experiment. It says, plan an experiment you could conduct to discover the relationship between temperature, pressure, and volume of gases. Now, this may seem a little bit foreign to you right now. You may not understand what kind of experiment you can do. We're going to look at a, a series of them in this video. So if you want to save this question for last, that's perfectly fine. But I did include some hints. Um, the first hint is, what if one stays constant? Like, what if you just held the pressure constant? What would happen to temperature and volume? Um, or if you increased one, what would happen to the other two? Would they increase, decrease, stay the same? Um, so let's go and do a quick vocabulary review. So first, what does pressure mean? Pressure is the amount of force acting on an object. Remember, force is just push or pull. In this case, we're talking more push, okay? So the amount of pushing acting on an object, the force, <clears throat> volume, how much space an object takes up, how much area is it actually consuming, that's the volume. Um, temperature is the average kinetic energy of the particles. So how fast are they going, right? How much energy is it that they are, are they having to move rapidly or slowly? And then we go into the first diagram on your paper. It says, observe these two closed system chambers, compare and contrast their densities. Do you think one is under more pressure than the other and explain? So if I'm looking at this, these chambers, appear to have the same number of atoms or particles within them. I can tell by looking at this that this flame is much lighter. This flame is much darker. So this is going to be much hotter temperature than this one. This chamber is, uh, you know, a very reduced volume. This one is taking up a lot more volume, okay? taking up a lot more space for its particles to move around. And I can see on the temperature gauge that my prediction was correct. This is a darker flame. It is at a higher temperature, a lighter flame. It's giving me a lower temperature, okay? So first of all, which one is denser? This one is much more dense. My particles are closer together. These are much more farther apart. So this is low density. This one is high density, okay? And do you think one is under more pressure than the other? This is kind of a trick question. It's a trick question because if we didn't have the flames at the bottom or the thermometers to see, it would be really easy to just assume this one is under a higher pressure because it's less volume. However, we are given um, the temperature of these, this one being more, this one being less. Because of this, they're actually the same. And I know that sounds crazy, but <clears throat> this one is going to be um, hitting the particles off the sides and each other so much more than this one is. So the pressure is, is actually just going to be equivalent in each one. We're going to get into our first gas law. So it says, examine the diagram of Boyle's gas law. What statement can be made about temperature, pressure, and volume? And then draw a graph to represent your statements. So let's look at these contraptions. These are just containers. It's filled with a uh, substance that's a gas, right? Because these are gas laws. <clears throat> we can see on here that we have um, the volume is all the way up to four, while the volume is just up to two on this one. Okay, so this is much larger volume. Our temperatures, this is at 300 Kelvin. This one's at 300 Kelvin. Um, they're the same. So my temperature is constant. What is not constant is my pressure. This one is only at one atmosphere, while this one is at two atmosphere. So I can now make some statements about what it is I'm seeing here. I can say as the volume increases, my pressure decreases, okay? And if you see this one, I can say as my volume decreases, my pressure increases. 
You guys see that? It went from four to two, and then it went from one to two. All right, so I'm gonna show you one more example of Boyle's Law right here. This is kind of the same thing, but it's in a different model. It's good to look at different models to, to be able to understand them. <clears throat> this one, we have like a lid on our container. You can see that it's saying, pulling up increases the volume and decreases the pressure. And this one, pushing down decreases the volume and increases the pressure. And this is what the graph would look like, okay? So you can see when pressure is really, really high, volume is low. Look, if I go down from here, volume is very, very low, but my pressure is really, really high. And then this opposite is true over here. When my volume is really, really um, high, I'm sorry, low, <clears throat> it's gonna be the opposite, okay? So inverse relationship is going on here. Okay, so now we're looking at Charles' Law. Um, Charles' Law is stating pressure is constant. What statement can be made about temperature and volume? And then draw a graph to represent your statements. So we have two more chambers or containers over here. What we can see is this one is at 300 Kelvin. That's the temperature. This one is at 600 Kelvin, significantly higher, okay? We can also see right off the bat, our volumes are different. This is a lot less volume than this container. Because it's stating pressure is constant, we can now make some statements about temperature and volume. We can say that as we increase temperature, so we went from 300 to 600, as we increase temperature, what happened to our volume? Our volume increased. It was just a little bit and it practically doubled, right, in size. It doubled in temperature, it practically doubled in volume as well, okay? So that would be a really good statement to make. <clears throat> and then it says draw a graph. Let me show you another perspective of Charles Law. So let me see here. I'm just gonna slide it over so you guys can see it a little better. There we go. <clears throat> so um, the pressure does remain the same. So if you look on here, we have our two chambers. This is pretty much the exact same thing we looked at. This is just a different model of it, okay? It does say as temperature increases, the volume increases because the faster molecules collide, they collide harder, they push on each other, and it ends up creating a larger volume of space. The graph is a linear graph, okay? So we have volume, we have temperature, Notice we're not putting pressure on this graph because pressure remains constant. We have no need for it in a graph form, all right? And you can see as one increases, the other also will increase. Let's go ahead and go to our next gas law. Let me slide you back over. Okay, so it says, examine the diagram of Gay-Lussac's gas law. What statement can be made about temperature, pressure, and volume? And then draw a graph to represent your statements. So in this case, we have two chambers again. In these chambers, we can see that our volumes look equivalent to one another, right? They look the same. We have a pressure gauge here. This one is at two atmospheres. This one is reading four atmospheres. I can see that my particles have vectors on them to indicate how fast they're going, right? Their motion, their kinetic energy. So we can see that this one has a lot more movement than this chamber right here with these vectors that are teeny, teeny, tiny, okay? So we can now go ahead and make some statements, right? We also see that this has a flame underneath it. Wow, this one does not. So we can go ahead and make a statement saying, okay, this is at room temperature. This one is having heat applied, so it's hotter. So as we increase temperature, going from room temperature to applying heat, as we increase temperature, what's happening? Is volume changing? No, our volume staying the same. What is actually changing is our pressure. Pressure is increasing. 
So as we increase temperature, we are increasing the pressure, okay? Let me show you <clears throat> what the graph would look like. The graph would look like this. We would have pressure, we would have temperature, and we are increasing in a linear fashion, which means that there are a direct relationship. As one increases, the other increases, and vice versa. When you decrease one, the other one will also decrease. So that's pretty much your review for 5B for the AKS portfolio. If you guys have any questions, please ask and let me know. Thanks.